Hello guys, let's talk today about private functions in Laravel or specifically in PHP. I've been looking at a few open source projects for inspiration what to talk about and found a few examples of private functions in the open source project Monica and I thought to show it to you because we don't talk about that enough it seems. Imagine you have an artisan command or a job or a service class something like this update something which has the main method of handle for example and then that handle takes care of some logic and part of that logic is this, this line is time to run sync and this is a private method. Now you would think why create a private method for one simple return for one line, why separate that? But in fact it makes it easier to read. Imagine that this condition would be inside of that return and then that function in itself, that filter, would be longer to read. And imagine the mind, the brain of a new developer, for example, trying to debug this feature or just trying to understand what that class does. So the shorter and the clearer the main function is, the easier for them to understand. So some logic of implementation, some check should be hidden in private methods even if that private method is one line or a few lines of code. So this is just one example. Another example from the same repository. Another artisan command of send reminders and handle has this. So you have eloquent query and then chunking the result. This send is a private method of the same class and that this send is just a for each loop. So instead of having for each here dispatching the job, the authors decided to make it as a private function of the same class. And then what happens? Readability of this is much better. So we're sending the reminder here and how it is sent, it's not that important in the beginning. If you want to dig deeper, you may read that function of send to find out how it is sent. So you could tell there are kind of two levels of how you read the class and understand the class. The first read, it's kind of like table of contents. If you think about the book, you first read table of contents. So what is inside of that class, the main method. And then if you want to read some chapter, then you read some chapter. And these are simple examples, a few lines of code. Now let's take a look at a few more complex ones. For example, another class of reset account, which may be like a job, I would imagine. And this is the main method again, handle. And this is the table of contents. So what happens inside of that reset account? Validation, then we find the account, and then we destroy individual records, destroy companies of that account, destroy days, places, documents, photos, whatever that means. So you're kind of announcing what you do. And if there's some kind of bug happening with documents and a new developer needs to fix it, they go to destroy documents and read the contents of that. And each of that destroy method is a private function with not too many lines of code, just a few lines of code, which are really similar. For some of them, it's a bit more complicated if it's execution of some other class. But generally, those are pretty simple functions. And imagine if that would be inside of the main handle function. That main handle function would be huge and pretty difficult to read. And another example of that from the same repository class is called move contact avatar to photos directory. In this case, it's a job and that job has again, the main method of handle. And in this case, to be honest, I would simplify that to avoid the comments altogether. So move avatar to new location. The method should be called move contact avatars to new location. And this is what is happening down below. Create photo object. And the comment says create a photo object. So is this comment necessary? Probably not. Create photo object is a private function of the same class. Then associate photo as avatar, delete original avatar. And this comment says exactly what the function is called. So it's totally unnecessary. And then delete thumbnails also comment is not necessary. And what is happening with those avatars with creating photos or deleting photos or thumbnails, it's implemented inside of private functions. So all in all, if you have some class with like main method of handle or execute or something, and that method is potentially longer, like 10 lines of code or a few logic to implement, take care of the readability of the class for yourself in the future and for future developers by extracting some of the actions into private methods of the same class. 
For some of you, it may be kind of an obvious thing of object-oriented programming, but with this example, with practical example, a few examples from real open source project, I just wanted to reiterate that from a practical level. And if you want more deeper examples of structuring Laravel classes, I have a few courses around that, that I can recommend one of them is Laravel refactoring examples, which includes automated testing for refactoring, and also solid code in Laravel, which also shows practical examples of those five letters. So check them out on laraveldailyteachable.com or subscribe to yearly membership to get all of my courses and everything I will release for a year ahead. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.